yourself. This is Neil Berman for the On Button at CES 2010. I'm here at Microsoft's booth with uh, Joe Chauvin, who's going to tell us a little bit about Media Center and the new Seaton Quad Tuner. Yeah, so I'm very excited to uh, be demoing uh, what we consider the very best way to watch TV uh, anywhere. Uh, with Media Center and Windows 7, we have the ability to provide a consistent experience for accessing both the internet content and broadcast content, all from within uh, the PC environment and the Media Center user experience. And the very best part is if you've got a Windows 7 PC, you, you have a lot of this functionality today. So uh, with that, I'd like to, to talk about the Seton device specifically, which of course isn't available yet today, but they have announced and it should be available uh, sometime Q1. Uh, they, they've announced a price for this. It's a $399 uh, price. But what the Seton device is, is it's a quad cable card tuner that enables four simultaneous HD streams from a single tuner and a single cable card. Uh, or from a single device, I should say. It's, there's four tuners on there. And so from that, that device, you can record four simultaneous programs, or you can, uh, with uh, Xbox 360, you know, as extenders, you can watch four different live programs on eight different rooms of the house. So it provides a very flexible broadcast uh, uh, content. And because it has uh, the cable card, another added benefit is with a single cable card, it requires a uh, less recurring cost because you're only paying for one cable card and you can watch it on four different TVs. So, so it could be a cost-effective solution as well. Right. So the, cable, the, the solution itself has a single multi-stream cable card that plugs in the back. The, uh, uh, the content comes over, content protected, that they, the cable card itself enables uh, that content to, to be decoded. It then gets converted into WM DRM or, or play-ready DRM and then that, that content gets protected onto, on the the hard disk, and from there, with extenders, you can extreme, stream it to multiple rooms. In addition, uh, if you're in a, an area that supports Switch Digital Video, they've, they've got support for Switch Digital Video. If the content is coming over as uh, copy-free, uh, it, it does not provide, or does not require protection, and you can watch those programs on uh, connected home group PCs. So we're really excited about this. It's a really great new product, great addition, and we're looking forward to it uh, being available shortly in the market. Cool. Now I, I know that. Um Previously, there have been cable card tuners for Media Center that have been OEM fitted only. Yeah. Um, and you know, you recently opened that up to um, to anyone to, to fit the tuners, which yeah. is why that the seed and tuners come along. Um, have you had any feedback from um, anyone who sort of in the er early days has tried to fit the seed and tuner if they've got hold of it? I mean, I know it's not available to the general public yet, but what, what's uh, what, what's your impression in terms of the ease of, of installation? Uh, you know, it's come a long way. So, you know, I think a lot of people who have uh, early adopters that invested in the solution back in the Vista days, uh, you know, it was really groundbreaking. But we were doing a lot of work on all different areas. Things like, uh, you know, the, the addition of work we had to do around content protection and around you know, supporting cable car, which is really brand new. And, uh, and of course, the fact that it had to be locked down to OEM only PCs and, and, and based on UPnP, which is all very new. And so, you know, we had some really early growing pains. But with Windows 7 uh, and the cable card tuners, work has been done since then. Uh, We've, we've found that we've solved a lot of those really early problems that people have had. Uh, it's a very stable experience in Windows 7 these days. Uh, you still have, of course, the problem of pairing cable cards. That's still a little harder than, than we would like it to be, but that's a one-time issue. Once you get it paired, it works great. The benefit of the seat device is you only have to do that once. You know, if you had a, a device that required, you know, four, four cable card tuners and you have four uh, cable cards, you would have to run in and do that four times. And right. Of course, that becomes problematic. So I'm really excited about this, and I think a lot of the early claim pains that people have had will go away, and people will be very happy with their experience in Windows 7. And, and have you had any feedback from any of the uh, from any of the cable companies in terms of um, you know I, I guess just giving people one cable card, not giving people a set top box? Are they happy to work with 
um, their customers in that way, or, or have you not had any conversations with them about that? We've, we've really had, had no, no real problems. Uh, you know, of course, cable card is, is something that they're, they're required to support through the FCC, and so they're, they're working with very due diligence to try to make sure that experience can be good, and, and uh, we, we found that if, you know, all the cable companies we've worked with have been very, very good at trying to make sure that this is going to provide a good experience for their users. Okay, and for, for people who don't necessarily need four tuners, but maybe might want two, which is kind of similar to what the HD Home Run offers at the moment for uh, non-encrypted channels. Do you see more tuners in the pipeline at the moment? Are there other are there other manufacturers out yeah, there? Yeah, I do. And, and in fact, at, at the show, you know, uh, HD uh, or uh, Silicon Dust has announced that, that they're we're coming out with an HD Home Run uh, a cable card tuner. Uh -huh. uh, and so they're coming out. Uh, I think one of the things that you'll find is that because of the fact that uh, Quam content is now being encrypted, a lot more content because that's been recently opened up by the FCC to, be, to enable that. I think you're finding that a lot of the content that people used to be able to get with their Quam tuners is going away. And so this, this means that some of these traditional vendors that have traditionally sold Quam tuners are now really looking at cable car technology as a way to continue to move their product lines forward and being able to provide additional content uh, to their users, not only the content that they used to, the, the PTV content that's now encrypted, but also the new, the other content, like premium content, HBO Showtime, that they've never been able to provide before. Right. Uh, can we actually see around the back to to, to just see what it looks like, where, where the cable card's going into? Yeah. I don't want to kill your setup, but yeah. Oh, so it's up there at the top. And it just fits into what, a PCI Express slot, is it? Yes. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you very much indeed. That was uh, Joe Chauvin at Microsoft at CES 2010 talking about the new Seaton Quad HD tuner. And I'm Neil Berman for the On Button.